Our Lady of Peace Elementary and a Junior High School. Respect yourself, respect others, and respect your environment. Core purpose statement, we the community of Our Lady of Peace School embrace and model the teachings of Jesus Christ. In the Catholic environment, we educate, encourage, and nurture children and each other as unique gifts of God within an atmosphere of love, respect, and a trust. In September 1994, Our Lady of Peace Elementary Junior High School officially opened its doors to students. Located in the rapidly growing community of Melrise, the school has grown by leaps and bounds since its inception. It welcomes students from Shaughnessy, Melrise, and Evergreen. The first school was an exciting and memorable one for all involved. Opening Principal Brian Grady and Vice Principal Jean Easton were handed the keys to the school in May 1994 and they were ready to open the doors at the end of June. This was a remarkable feat that has yet to be repeated. The fantastic support of our parent volunteers, students, and staff ensured a smooth start in September, despite the, there being no grass around the building. Enrollment at that time was just under 500 students in kindergarten to grade 8. Father Keith Sorge and St. Patrick's Church were excited to have the school community as part of their parish. As well, the Milrise Community Association was pleased to collaborate with the school to see the completion of the skating rink, soccer, and the baseball fields which benefit both. Over the past 11 years, the staff and the students have made many contributions to the community, food drives, Terry Fox runs, choir and dance, visits to the nearby nursing home, singing of the show homes, and the prayers for those in need are a few examples. The school motto is, respect yourself, respect others, and respect your environment. It is simple yet meaningful and helps students to live by the golden rule. The current administrative team consists of Bonnie Jean Marconi, Principal, Pat McElroy, Vice Principal, and Joyce Sunada, Assistant Principal. The enrollment is 1,000 to students, and there are 71 staff members. Striving for excellence is a common theme at Our Lady of Peace. Each term, many students demonstrate high levels of spiritual, academic, artistic, and athletic excellence. The whole child. <coughs> is celebrated at Our Lady of Peace School. It is a tradition that will be proudly carried on. <clears throat> Our Lady of Peace, you opened your heart when you said yes, lead us in saying yes, that Jesus your Son may live in us. May his love fill our hearts, minds, teaching us to be bearers of peace to our world. Amen. Colleen Ryu, grade 8 teacher. Our Lady of Peace, school song. Oh, Mother Most Divine, look down upon her school, let her love upon us shine. Doors Bless us as we learn, bless us as we play. Lead us to your Son each and every day. Refrain, Holy Mary, Mother of God, O oh, our Mother, to you do we call. We pray that we all do. Life lives by the golden law. Our Lady of Peace, Our Lady of Peace. O oh, Virgin, chaste and pure, with mercy, bless and grace, our efforts and our work, and all else that takes place. Bless the children here and the adults to fill our hearts with love in all that we do. Refrain, Holy Mary, Mother of God, O oh, our Mother, to you do we call. We pray that all we do lives by the golden rule, Our Lady of Peace, Our Lady of Peace, written by Brian Del Castelho as a gift. Our Lady of Peace, the name Our Lady of Peace was chosen with great care. The name arose from a twofold purpose to place the school under the protection and intercession of the Blessed Mother and to take as our mission the imitation of Mary in the example she set that we, like Mary, might be always open to bringing Jesus into the world and to be bearers of peace to one another. The sense of mission was also heightened by the awareness that the first Catholic Church and a mission site in southern Alberta was also named Our Lady of Peace. So many years later, we continue to serve this mission, striving always to serve Christ, to be open to God's call, to live as people of peace. Saint Maria Goretti, embraced by God, inspired by learning. Look now.
Saint Maria Goretino School opened its doors to 500 students in September 1994. With the leadership of Ms. Git Volk and her staff, the beautiful brick building on the top of Hopwood Hill became a vibrant learning community for kindergarten to grade six students from the Northwest community of Hopwood and the Citadel. As the St. Maria Goretti School grew to serve over 700 students, it enjoyed a tradition of academic excellence and a strong ties with St. Peter's Catholic Church. During the Jubilee year, Ms. Volk and Father Hook led the school community in a special liturgy. There was also a commemoration quilt that the entire school was a part of creating. The quilt, which hanged prominently in the foyer, represents all the families and the staff members who were part of the school at that time. It is a testament to the beauty that was created when individuals, in the spirit of cooperation and the unity, work toward a common goal. This commitment continues to define the way St. Maria Goretti School operates today. Ms. Rosanna Larata and her educational team led the school community through its 10th anniversary, which was celebrated in September 2004. During this time, students, staff, and the parents worked to design a new school banner and our school motto, Embraced by God, Inspired by Learning. These artifacts symbolize the tradition of excellence that has been built over the last 10 years, as well as our commitment to moving forward in Catholic education. Faith. As darkness falls across the land, I feel him gently clasp my hand, and then I'm left without a fear because I know that he is near. For nothing I could do or say would make him want to turn away. His love for me is just too strong. I know it's with him that I belong. He is the God we have all known, whom hate has never overthrown. God has sent his son out to the earth, where so many troubles make their birth. Just so that we could live today in a joyous, happy, and gleeful way. So use the morals of your God above, and always share his ultimate love. Saint Maria Goretti, you showed me how to live my faith in God. Emily D. Grade 6. Saint Maria Goretti, born in 1890 to a poor peasant family in Coronaldo, Italy, Maria Goretti, from an early age, showed a particular devotion and a faith in God. After her father's death in 1900, Maria took over many of the household duties so that her mother could support the family as a field laborer. They shared living quarters with the Serenelli family, and many difficulties arose in this arrangement. On July 5, 1902, as Maria cared for her younger sister, the Serenelli's 18-year-old son, Alessandro, began to harass her, making threats, and when she continued to resist, he stopped her. From her deathbed, Maria not only forgave her attacker, but promised to pray for him continually in order that his soul be saved. She died of the following day. After eight years in prison, Alessandro Serenelli repented and sincerely begged forgiveness, returned to his Catholic faith, and after his release from prison, spent the rest of his life as a gardener and a simple laborer. Alessandro himself testified on Maria's behalf in the process of her beatification. Saint Maria Goretti is honored for her practice of virtue throughout her life, for the forgiveness and the love she demonstrated, and for her willingness to stand firm in her beliefs, even when threatened with death. Her feast day is July 6th. W. Costello School allows every child to bloom where they are planted. John W. Costello Catholic School opened August 30th, 1995 under the direction of the principal, Ms. Luba Dirac. Enrollment was approximately 295 students from kindergarten to grade 6, initially serving the communities of Strathcona Park, Christie Estates, Coach Hill, Prominence Point, and Patterson Heights. John W. Costello School opened the doors to Catholic education in Calgary, Calgary's western suburbs. With the support of St. Michael's Parish and Father Len, Len Hagel, students work in harmony in a safe and a nurturing environment where everyone is valued. In 
keeping with the tradition of the school's namesake and the Calgary's first teacher, John W. Costello, staff members who initially opened the school defined its core purpose and vision to be one of service to the students. The symbol adopted to communicate this core purpose and vision was a tree. Students are the vital center of life of the tree, ground in the richness of Catholicity. Through a curricular focus and the support of parents, teachers, church, and the community, the students of John W. Costello develop qualities that enable them to lead full lives rooted in Catholic teaching. As rich soil and care produce an abundance of healthy fruit on a tree, the richness of a John W. Costello education allows every child to bloom where they are planted. Student qualities are represented by apples on the tree that blossom and mature. John W. Costello School promotes students to be valuable citizens, problem solvers, lifelong learners, successful, spiritual, responsible, conscientious, persevering, loving, positive, productive, motivated, self-reliant, independent, passionate, confident, respectful, and accepting individuals. The school core building was designed to accommodate 300 students and has seen the addition of many portables throughout the year. At the school blessing and the dedication ceremonies, several direct descendants of John Costello were in attendance, many of whom are educators in the Calgary Catholic School District and across Canada. As part of Alberta's centennial year, John W. Costello School also marks an important celebration, its 10-year anniversary, with current principal Ms. Mary Ann McCallum. Enrollment presently stands at approximately 640 students in kindergarten to grade 6. With blessings and thanks to God, John W. Costello, Calgary's first teacher, would be pleased with the fruit that his vision for Catholic education has produced. When God looks at John Costello, what does he see? Years pass after our earth was created, Adam and Eve pass on the circle of life. So one special day, God looks down on our school, John Costello. When he looks down on the first day, God is his growing children spreading their wings. On the second day, God is eager to see what's happening. He decides to send down the Holy Spirit as a present to these hardworking children. On the third day, God squints through fluffy clouds to see laughter and the joy spreading through each and every child. God is overjoyed with this. When the fourth day awakens, God crawls out of bed to see why silence is all he can hear. God is surprised to see peaceful and hopeful souls reading all kinds of books. When the fifth day comes, God looks down to see blossoming flowers in every heart. It takes five days to complete the happy place of our school. For as each day passes, God creates the heart and the soul of our school. But God does one more important thing. He puts our hearts together like a puzzle to create unity to join all of us and our blessed school. On the sixth day, God does not look down on us, for he knows that all is right. A garden of love is where to share and to give courage and love. Amanda W. John William Costello. John William Costello was a devout Catholic layperson who helped develop Calgary into a strong settlement. He was appointed Calgary's first teacher in February 1884. Despite the school's success, it was closed to, due to lack of fund after one term. As a father, citizen, and educator, John Costello had a deep concern for the future of schooling in Calgary. He was instrumental in establishing St. Mary's School and the Calgary Roman Catholic Separate School District No. 1. He was deeply involved as a trustee and board chairman over the next 20 years. Following a life of service to his community, church, and the family, John W. Costello died in 1918, leaving a rich legacy of hard work and achievement. He was well respected for his benevolence towards others in need, his honesty and integrity. Through his dedication and leadership, this unique